13th of 2020, one of the coldest days of the year, mind you, okay? I'm out there struggling, freezing, okay? Only thing that I missed was I forgot to ask him about my smokestack and to check my light. Okay, okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. Ace everything. Well, shout out to you, uh, 160, what is it, 165 Trucking Academy? 160 Driving Academy. 160 Driving Academy. Shout out to you. Shout out to them. Definitely shout out to your brother, man. May he, uh, may he rest in peace. Um, Thank you. Know, you, so he, you know, he was the driving force to, uh, to, to get you to go for your license. And again, uh, guys, uh, you know, healthcare. Uh, when you're out here looking for, you know, companies to go with, uh, make sure that health uh, benefits is is in your top things. You're gonna have recruiters. You're gonna have recruiters that's gonna always overshadow that with just, you know, we got the money, we got the home time, and we got the miles, and yada yada yada. But what about the benefits? Do you have the, do you have the 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 medical, the dental, the the vision, and how much do I gotta come out of pocket? Do the company pay for that? Do I pay for that? Is it good? Is it Blue Cross Blue Shield? Is it Kaiser? Is and for me, is it Cleveland Clinic? Is is the insurance that I'm getting will work for this particular uh, hospital if if I choose that hospital to be my home hospital, you know. So yeah, stuff like that, man. You know, you guys gotta make sure that when y'all choosing uh, the company, make sure that the company you choose, you know, have uh, good benefits. And even if you decide to go lease. You know, make sure you find an outside company that, you know, that has that as well. Um, all right, Miss Lady, Miss Lady, Miss Lady. Okay, so, how, uh, so before before we get into the content, um, how did you how how did you uh, come across me? And yeah, how how did you come across me? Uh, I was looking up uh, Hirschbach videos. Mm-hmm. And I ended up coming across your podcast, and I was listening, and it it was good content, and it was informational, and um, I was like, you know what, I gotta leave a message here because you know maybe this might be somewhere you know I can maybe get some some answers and in my direction to you know where I need to go. Okay. okay. So because you know, I'm, I'm new with this and I'm learning. Um, just like everybody has at one point and it's just, it was good content. So I was like, let me, you know, let me, uh, leave a message here. And then you responded and I was like, Oh, that is so nice. Thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I, I always want to know, uh, where, you know, where, where, where my subscribers come from. I hope you subscribe. So you make sure you hit that, uh, yeah. make sure you hit that yeah. bell and that all button because, you know, I, cool. I, I come up with, you know, not only trucking content, but I also come up with crazy shit as well. So thank you very much for, <laughs> yeah. for finding me no and, uh, and thank you for, you know, leaving a comment. All right. So. Yeah. In that Hirschbach video, um, and now guys, I made several Hirschbach uh, videos. So if you type in Hirschbach, uh, I think I got maybe I don't know, maybe like five or six so far. I had I had drivers that came on there and and talked about their experience. Shout out to Bees Knees. Uh, Bees Knees was the one that actually first got the ball rolling with. Uh, with the Hirschbach content. Uh, I did a made the call video to Hirschbach uh, in the beginning. Then uh, Hirschbach themselves reached out to me and they wanted to come on. And, and oh. uh, yeah, they, they wanted to come on and, and talk about, you know, they, 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 I guess they want to refute or rebuttal what B's knees has said in his video. So I, I let them come on and do that. Um, and then, like I said, after that, several other drivers 
uh, came on. Some drivers that came on, they said they liked the company. The company is awesome. And then other drivers oh. that came on that says, you know, this company is garbage, booty. But in the ca- in yeah. your in your case, you was accepted to Hirschbach, but come to find mm-hmm. out, they wanted you to sign a a nine month contract, contract yeah. and to go out training with yeah. with them now you know i now i was looking at that and, and and i tried to get an understanding from what i got out of it you have your license already right yeah yeah so yeah. what was the what I, was the reason behind <laughs> the the nine month contract. Was you going in there to do lease, or was you going no, in there as a company no. driver? As a, as a company driver, my thing was I um I was accepted in there, and you know they had me all set and ready to go. Right. I got ready to do my um my uh, orientation paperwork. Okay. You know they send it to me online, and as I'm reading through this, I see a a, a contract. Okay. Uh, for Seven thousand dollars. You know that that caught my attention. I said, "Hold up, what's this seven thousand dollars about?" Right. Now hold and up, hold, like hold, hold up, stop right quick, stop before you before mm-hmm. you go a little bit further in that. Let's rewind for a little bit. You called Hirschbach. Uh, you talked to uh, you talked to a recruiter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, before you actually saw the contract, did the recruiter any time during the conversation? Kind of no. hipped you to the fact that you had to sign a nine month, seven thousand dollar contract. No, 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 no. Okay, and so that was my thing. I said, hold up. Okay, so, so what was the conver- what what was the conversation between you and the recruiter at the time? Oh, he says, um, he was like, well, he said, well, since you haven't driven. You know, in over a year, you don't have any over the road experience. Right, he was right. like, you'll have to go. You'll have to go through our training program. Okay. And uh, then it would be uh, now if you were to quit between, you know, in between that nine months that you would sign this contract, then you would owe us that seven thousand okay. dollars. But otherwise, okay, hold up, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm, I'm still confused on the part that you have to go into I, a training. Pro- now I understand you had to go to could, go through training. I could hear what right, you had to go with train with with the trainer that go out with the trainer for like for like two three weeks or something like that. You got to you, Miss Lady. You mean to tell me that you got to pay for them to to send you out with a trainer? Is this is what I'm hearing? I would I would have to go there because uh, since I'm in the Quad City area, I would go to Dubuque, Iowa. Right. I would have to stay there for a month. Okay. And go through their training. Then after after their training, then I would go on out, you know, uh, with the mentor for five to six weeks. Okay. And then I would, you know, then after that, depending on how much, how fast I pick it up or whatever, then you know that would determine when I would go out and on my own. So, but in the meantime, so you. So basically, they they charging you to go back to school again. That's what I'm saying. But you got That's your license, like, I went to though. School. I went to school, so that way I wouldn't have to sign no contract and owe nobody nothing. Exactly. Now I can see if I can see if I go to a refresher course. You know what I'm saying? Maybe okay. go for like two weeks, and do a road test, okay. and you know all that good stuff okay. or whatever. I can see that, but. I mean, going for another month and then still having this, you know, seven thousand dollars dangling over my head. Uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? And a nine month contract. Uh-uh. A nine month contract. Uh-uh. Now my kids got an uncle. My kids got an uncle. I've been, you know, I got a couple people in the family that, you know, have done trucking or whatever. And he told me he said, well, he was like, why don't you just, you know, go on over to CR England? He was like, because they ain't gonna make you sign no contract like right. that. Right. You know, whatever. But I'm like, I'm so, I've, I've heard so many good things about Hirschbach. I know a guy, he's worked there for like 23 years, mm-hmm. but he does local. So, I mean, you know, he's been doing it for, he had his own company for, you know, for a long time, him and his brother. And then 
he went ahead and he went and uh, went back company and he he does local jobs for them. So he's he's good. He says he he loves it. He absolutely loves it. So he's the one that really kind of you know like you know it, it brought it to my attention. Like you know, go with her spot. There's a they're a good company. But wait, so, though, and I, the, but wait, this 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 don't. This whole contract thing. This whole contract don't sound right to me. Like, I mean, I understand if I didn't have my license and then you right. would train me to get my CDLs and then I would pay the $7,000. But, bro, you over here telling me right. I got to pay you $7,000 for something, for something that, uh, for something that you guys should already well, have a trainer to do. I already got my license. Well, this is, this Hold up, hold up now. This is the thing. Now, as long as I'm working for them, they'll take 100 and I think it was like 194 95 190 I'm going to say $195 a week. Okay. As long as I'm with them. Okay. So as long as I'm with them for the nine months, then I won't have to pay that back. But if I quit, you know, before the nine months, then I would have to pay them. I would oh, have to pay them that's, back. That's bullshit. Nah, nah, nah. You nah. Don't do that, sister girl. Mm -mm. Nah, See, that's, 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 that's bullshit. Because, because you, 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 you already paid for your license. What about what about what six? What about six? Five, six five thousand. thousand right, and you and four thousand nine hundred. Right, yeah. And you telling me I got to come out of the pocket of another seven thousand. And I gotta That's give you, and I gotta give you, I, I gotta give you a contract. I gotta sign a contract for nine. I mean, for nine months. And if I break that contract, y'all gonna penalize me for seven thousand dollars? Get out of here! Right. Get out right. of here. So the conversation between you and the recruiter after that, because of of course he didn't, he did he neglected to mention that. So the conversation yeah. after yeah. the fact that you 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 called him back, and the conversation went like what? <laughs> I said um, I said now what's this? Because I was ready to go. I was going to leave out that Sunday, and mm -hmm. this was on a Friday. And I was like, hey, I said I got a question about this. Um, what's the seven thousand dollars about? You know, whatever. And he was like, well, oh, that's because you'll be going back uh, through our training, and you'll have to uh, be with us for nine months, and that's that's how he how he explained it to me. He said you'll have to be with us for the nine months, and any time you know if you were to leave before the nine months, then you would owe us the remainder of that seven thousand dollars. So I'm not for sure if you know, like say, like I'm with them for you know four months, and however much you know that adds up to be you know would I have to pay the the balance of that, or would it have to be the whole seven thousand dollars, or you know just what. But that, you know, that's what's been on my mind. Like, you know, is this something that I really want to do? You know what I mean? Mm -mm. Nah. Given the fact that everybody's like, oh, it's a good company. It's a nah, good company. Nah, Just that, that, that sounds, that, that sounds like, that sounds like they trying to rip you off. That's what that sounds like to me. They, they try to take advantage of you. That's what that sounds like to me. And that's like why I me. haven't went. That's why I haven't went yet. And that's why I'm like, now where do I go? You know, like, where do I go? Companies, and they get back with you, and they tell you this, and they tell you that, and you find out, you know, this and that later. So, I mean, I've called a few companies, and, you know, like, they'll say, since I don't have any experience, they don't have a refresher course, or now, now you I'll know, have to go back. You know what? This is this what kills me about, uh, about modern-day trucking right now. You got all these companies that claim that there's a driver shortage, like we need drivers we, we need drivers we we need drivers we doing this to bring drivers in because we need drivers well you have a driver right, right here that has her license uh yeah all she needs to do is just go out with 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 a trainer and all you got to do is just you know train her for you know through the you know through the train you know with a trainer or whatever and then afterwards, she'll she'll be good to go for you guys. Why you guys over here trying to, uh, trying to take advantage of her? 
you know what I'm saying, try to take advantage of her, try to have her to sign a bogus-ass contract so you can milk an extra $7,000 out of her. Y'all not even giving her, y'all not even giving her anything in return except for the fact that, oh, we could, we giving you a job. Really? I'm so I'm paying so so you paying seven thousand dollars to work for them. That's what they say. No, no, listen. They they would take that off they would they wouldn't take that out of my pay. Mm -hmm. They would just take that off the balance every week that I'm there. But if you but if you decide to quit though Exactly. But if you decide to quit if if the marriage ain't right, they penalizing you. That's that's what that sounds like to me. That part, that part, that uh, part. Because, nah. you know, who we'll get in there in three months down the line be like, you know what, this shit ain't right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm not comfortable here. And now I'm, now I'm thinking to myself, you know, like, damn, now I got to stay with him or else I'm going to owe him this bread. And now what? You know what I'm saying? Am I yeah. just going to leave and just have to, you know, take that, you know, take that lump or what? Well, it's a good thing that... uh it's a good thing that you decided not to go there. So did you, so when you told, when you was talking to the recruiter about it and you kind of like told him what, like you changed your mind, what, what did he, what did he I say? Just told him I, would have to, I just told him that I would have to get back with him, you know, when, you know, when I was ready or whatever, he was like, okay. He said, just, you know, give him a holler back. He said, you know, they they'll always have a space there. So, <laughs> <laughs> not for no, yeah. not for no seven thousand dollars. You don't. <laughs> not right, for me. Right. right. <laughs> um. But yeah, there's. Well, other... I mean, he made it made it sound. You know, he made it sound good because he was like, you know, it's not something that they would take out of my check. Mm-hmm. You know, as long as he I'm trying with to, them. He's trying to sugarcoat right. it. That's that's what he's trying. That's what he tried to do. He he, he tried uh-huh. he tried to sugarcoat it. He tried to he tried to sugarfoot you. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, it's uh, you know when you get in here, you know you don't have to you you know what you you know we gonna have to we, you gonna have to sign the contract, but and if you stay here for the entire nine months, you don't have to pay it back. You don't have to pay us. Right. You know, that's, no, yeah, bump all that. Bump all that. That's how I went. That's how I went bump all that you know that that's what i was saying he's he 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 trying to uh he trying to sugarcoat you in in other words like i said before you know i i think i think they try to uh try to take advantage of you you know what i'm saying but you already you again you already you already had your license for over a year and since you had your license have you have have you been driving semis since you had your license or would you or what you was driving no. before you got into, you know, before you decided to go semi? No, I had got my class A in the, when I went to school. Oh, okay. And then after that, I had uh, drove for a concrete company, uh, drove dump truck for a little while, for oh. like a month and a half, though. So. Oh, okay, okay. And I ended, up leaving, I ended up leaving this company because now um, it seemed like every time you turned around, something was wrong with this truck. And even though I'm new, and I'm a female. It seemed like every time I would go to the uh, to the garage and tell the I'd tell the manager of the garage, I'd tell him, "Hey, look, this is leaking. Um, there is a gash in the in these steer tires. Um, this uh, cross member it, it looks cracked back here. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm picking up loads of you know gravel and you name it." Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, hold up. I'm like, uh, your safety from is my at training. Risk. Exactly. So from my training, you know, that was one thing that they drilled into our head, you know, about safety. So in my mind, I'm like, okay. Um, I'm like, I can't keep doing this. So that, that only lasted for about a month and a half. The next thing you know, um, the season had changed because like I had got hired there, like in the beginning of, uh, the end of June, beginning of July, something like that. So I left like the middle of August mm-hmm. of uh, last year. Okay. And, and then COVID hit. Uh, yeah, that it, all that was already going on. But, you know, still like my son was having to go back to school and right. he was only 14. Right. I live out here. We don't have no family close to me, you know, stuff like that. So anyway. So, so, so actually to, you, know, you do. So, so actually 
when when you do find a a, a trucking home, you 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 really gonna need something uh, that's that's compatible for. I mean, that's that's balanced with your home life. So you actually, uh, well, if nothing local, then you're actually looking for something uh, regional, so you can at least be home on the weekend because of your family situation. Am I am I correct on that? Or- Something, or something to where I can take him with me. But in in the meantime, in between time, I have a uh, I got grown kids, and he's my he's my youngest. Oh, okay. So he's fifteen, and he um, while I've been looking for a trucking home, he's been staying with my oldest son mm-hmm. and doing a thing with him. So he's fine. It's not it's not oh, an okay. issue with him. Okay. So, okay. Cool. You know, I can go out there. I can be out there, but I do want to find something, you know, to where, you know, I can at least be home, you know, at least on the weekend. Well, you know what, uh, Miss Lady, I, 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 I probably might have a few suggestions. I mean, you know, some of, you know, a couple that of them, awesome. a couple of them might work for you and a couple of them might not work for you but it's it don't hurt mm-hmm. to it, it it don't hurt to get them a chance uh get them a chance um i got uh steve green from arthur it's a trucking company out in uh missouri uh i could pass you uh i could pass your information over to him and um and see what he can see what he can do with you uh see what okay. he can do for you uh, so that's arthur that's Thank one you. uh that's one uh prime <laughs> I, I i i know <laughs> i know everybody <laughs> you know i know everybody disposition with prime but at least with prime you you don't have to pay you automatically have to come in and go out with a trainer anyway with Prime. They're not just going to, you know, they're not going to, just because you got your CDLs, they're not going to throw you in the truck. They're going to send you out with a trainer anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. You probably might have to just do the P, uh, the PIP, PMP. I don't know what you can say about anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you probably might just have to just do that part and just go out for, you know, for 30,000 miles or 50,000 miles or however they got it set up. Mm-hmm. And you don't have to come mm-hmm. out of the, you you don't have to come out of the pocket on that. Um Covenant uh is another one. Uh I, I'm not a fan of Covenant. Uh and the only problem with Covenant is that you have to go out uh teaming after you get finished training so they they, yeah they they're gonna force you to they're gonna force you to team drive um and then while in the training part you probably might have to be in a you probably might be in there with one other person because i know for a fact covenant and cr england they are I was gonna say uh, CRST is like that too. Yeah, they do. They they do uh, when it when it comes to training, they do two at a time instead of one at a time. So that's another. Oh, okay. That's that's another that's another caveat too that I that I that I have a problem with because you know even though it's good for the trainer because you know he's he's double dipping, but double bubble, I, yeah. I I think it's kind of bad for the both of y'all because. He's splitting his time between the two, and I, I can't see, yeah. I, I can't see how much y'all gonna get out, how much y'all gonna get out of that, you know, how much uh, good training is gonna come out of that. But CRST, um, cov- um, not Covenant, uh, CRST, CR England. Like I said before, they they got the double, um, they got the double. Uh, you know, the double people with one trainer. And then, uh, and like I said, Covenant. And last but not least, uh, Western Express. Um, definitely not a, fr- uh, not a fan of Western Express, but with Western Express, you, you get in there, you get your training, you get your time in with them. And then after you get your time in with them, then that's when you leave to, you know, step up. But first thing first, 
Um, first thing first, I got, uh, I got, I got Arthur. So I'll definitely, um, you know, send, you know, text me your, you know, your, 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 you know, your last name. I got, I got your phone number and everything. Well, yeah, I got it. I got all of that. So what I'll do. Yeah. I, I got all of that. So I'll just send that over. I'll call him up today. Um, you know, pass the information on to him. Uh, he'll probably have one of his recruiters to reach out to you, and then, you know, you can you could probably you know go from there because they got, you know, they got regional routes, they got over the road routes. I believe they got some dedicated routes over there as well. So they they got something that'll work out for you but you know definitely let them know you know you had your you know you had your cdl for a year you drove dump truck and you probably gonna need you know to go out for training if 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 they if if they got a trainer uh mm -hmm. and then yeah then all the other ones that i mentioned you know just you know see what they see what they got to offer too so but yeah this yeah, this this seven so this seven thousand dollars, nine hundred and ninety-five dollars, out out of your out off the balance of your paycheck, and if you decide to quit coming out of your pocket, bro, you ain't even. I got my license already. Like I already paid uh four thousand hey. dollars already. What I'm looking hey. like paying you to? Uh, what is is this leasing? I'm I'm coming in as a company driver, hey. like. That's what I'm saying. I said, hold up now. I said, I now I went to school so that way I wouldn't have to do this contract thing. Because that was one thing that my brother, you know, he put in my head. He was like, you want to go get it first. Right. So then you don't you have to. Right. So you don't have to be obligated by a contract. Right. So, and I mean, and then, you know, like you said, he was sugarcoating it by saying, you know, hey, it wasn't going to come out of my paycheck. Mm, yeah. Not unless I leave and then mm -hmm. I would owe him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we hear you. We we hear you. We 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 hear you, Hirschbach. We we hear that you're trying to uh trying to get over on this young lady. I'm 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 just saying. I'm just saying. Well, man, Miss Lady, uh, that's crazy. Don't don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. You know, don't don't fall for the banana. If it's something, something they're telling me not to. If it's something, if it's something that don't sound right, if it don't sound good, if if it sound kind of kind of iffy, you know, go with the gut. The gut never steers you wrong. Go with yeah. your gut. Yeah. I mean, you know, Olivia Pope says it best. I go with my gut. My vote always comes down to my gut. My gut tells me everything I need to know. We're taking the case. And if my yeah. gut tells me, if my gut tells me not to mess with you, then yeah, yeah, you you did exactly right. Happened. You didn't you you didn't fall again, again. You didn't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. I commend you for that. So. But yeah, Thank shout you. out because it's been hard because I'm trying to find my place somewhere. I'm ready to go to work. All right, all right. So now you know. Now that you're in 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 Iowa, how how I mean, are you are you working now? Why are you looking, or are you just or are you just concentrating on looking? Well, I was doing. Um, a side job. I was doing in home care. Oh, okay. okay. And now, um, now I'm now I'm just looking. I'm not doing that anymore. So right. now I'm just looking. Well, the like last I said, two months. Like I yeah, said, yeah, I've been I've been struggling. Like I said, <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and give him a call today. Uh, as soon as we, as soon as we get off, you know, get off the phone, I'll give him a call today. I'll pass this information over to you, and hopefully he'll be able to work something out with you. But uh, thank uh, you so for coming you. on. I really do appreciate it. Okay. You are a citizen now, so thank you very much. If you have any, you know, if you have any other crazy horror stories that that you want to come on and share with us, man, definitely reach out to me. You got the, you got the show number. So, you know, go ahead and uh, right. go ahead and save it. And, um, and yeah, we, you know, we'll get back up with each other and much success. Um, 
you know, much success in your you. your trucking trucking journey, and I hope that uh hope that you'll be able to land somewhere that uh that you'll be able to rock out with. And again, my condolences you. to you, you know, to you, and I mean to you for your brother, man. That's I I know that was I I know that was a hard hard thing to swallow after. Let me, but let me ask you this: Did yeah. he? Excuse me. Did he? Mm -hmm. Uh, did did he? Did he pass while he was at home, or did he pass while he was on the road? No, he was at home. And oh, awesome. matter of fact, I, was, I went down to visit him. Um, I had just had a surgery, and I was just uh, recovering from my surgery. And I went down to go see him and my family members, and that. And we had went out that night, and when we got back to his house, uh, he came out. I was sitting in the car, and I was on the phone. Or no, I was talking to my daughter. She had just pulled up, too, because she had came down to visit everybody, too. Mm -hmm. And he came outside holding his chest, and he was like, sis, he said, take me to the emergency room. So I rushed into the emergency room, and about four hours later, they did a CAT scan, and they seen that... Uh, Cause he was in, he was in a lot of pain. He was, he wasn't himself. He was in a lot of pain, a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. And they kept, uh, giving him pain medicine, you know, to ease him, you know, and he'd lay there and kind of just put his head back and just kind of, you know, relax or whatever. And as much as he could. And four hours later, they seen that, um, there was a tear in his aorta and they life flighted him to, uh, OSF in Peoria, Illinois. And he sat there, he was there, uh, they opened his chest. Um, they kept trying to sew, sew it back together. And the doctor had told us that it's like tissue paper. So he said every time they would get to that last stitch, it would pop back open. So um, they had him on life support. Uh, he, he, he fought for two days. He fought for two days. And they end up finding another tear in the back. And so there was, there was nothing that they could do. He basically just kind of lost all functions to, you know, all his major organs and he passed. Now, what, what was this again? It's aortic. Aortic. Aortic dissection. Aortic dissection. Dissection. Di dissection. 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 A aortic dissection. Aortic dissection. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. You remember uh, John Ritter that played on Three's Company? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he passed from. What? Mm hmm. Yeah, because and I, it was think, I think John Ritter dropped dead on uh, on, on his show, though, from what I from He what was I on heard. set. He was yeah, on he set. was on set, and they rushed him to the hospital. And usually they say if someone is suffering from uh, aortic dissection, they usually die within an hour of uh, the diagnosis. Oh my God! So and your brother was able. Brother was your your brother was days. able to get out of. I mean, get an extra two days. That's that's a you know that's the lightweight, a beautiful thing to give you guys at least a little bit more time to spend with him before you went home. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, he wasn't conscious or anything. He was under. So you know, because they had to open his chest and everything. But and they had him on life support, but. The fact of it is, is that he fought for two days. So he was trying to stay here. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, God always has, you know, his own reasonings and purpose, you know, for everyone. So, right. you know, at the time I didn't want to, I didn't want to face that. But now, you know, five years later, you know, I'm like, you know what, there must be, you know, something going on up there where he needed his one of his best soldiers. So I got you. that's where he's at. And, you know, he's looking over us every day. And I know he's with me every day. And I know he's proud of me. And, you know, that's what I take with me every day into this trucking journey. So, that's what's up. That's what's up. All all praise due to your brother, man. That's what's up. Well, thank Miss you. Lady, thank again, you. thank you for coming oh. on and uh, sharing uh, sharing your experience with us and everything so thank you very much from the lockout man podcast show yes thank you so much and i wanted to add his name his name is michael thompson michael Thompson. and he and he called himself mac truck okay okay <laughs> michael thompson the mac truck well shout out to you yeah. my g rest in rest in peace my man 
So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. And I hope, you know, this discussion helps, you know, other uh, newbies out there and, you know, and just, I just appreciate this, uh, that you're doing this and that you have this platform for, you know, people like myself. Not a problem. I'm I'm glad to be of service and I'm glad to be a help. Thank you so much. All right. We're out of here, everybody. Y'all take it easy. Miss Lady, uh, I'm about to go ahead and uh go ahead and uh send your information over to him now. So I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, thank you so much. Everyone be safe out there. All right now. All right, bye bye.